In our final demonstration for the electromechanical demonstration, we're going to take a look at FEMAP Express. Now, FEMAP Express was developed for the casual uh, user who might want to get a quick analysis of his part to make sure that it is strong enough uh, for what it was created for. And in this case, we're going to switch over to the FEMAP uh, config where we can see we've got a sheet metal bracket holding this uh, particular camera and got a little bit of stress going on here we want to make sure it's thick enough or strong enough uh, of a part so in order to do that what we're going to do is simply in place activate into uh, the sheet metal component once we get into to there we're going to click on FEMAP Express and basically it's going to come up with this uh, you know a mid surface feature must be created so I don't have a mid surface to define the sheet metal model well that's okay we can easily go over since we're in the sheet metal file to create a mid surface very quickly simply preview and create it and it's done then we can go back to FEMAP Express and you can see that that is satisfied now when we get into FEMAP Express you can do stress or modal analysis. In this case we want to do a stress analysis and we'll accept that. As far as a uh, material we'll go ahead and use the aluminum. There's a pull down list there that we can go to but aluminum is good enough so we'll go ahead and accept that. The third step is to basically apply the load. So we're going to go ahead and add a load a force and we'll use a value of say 10. Once that is done then we simply identify, in this case, the edge of that of the hole where a lot of the pressure is going to be or force is going to be. Now, when we're done with that, the next thing it asks us for is to define the direction uh, of that force. You'll notice in solid edge, you can use uh, your assembly uh, parts, parts from your assembly to help you define this type of thing. And of course, you can flip that direction uh, very easily and then with that, uh, that finishes up the force. Now the final thing is to define the constraint and of course on this end where we're going to bolt it down we'll go ahead and constrain uh, that particular um, uh, face. And we'll accept it and you'll notice that FEMAP Express uh, process status bar comes up and it shows you that it's applying the loads and constraints and then it's going to go through uh, the solving uh, process and it just takes a couple of uh, seconds to, to finish this up. Again, the idea is to get some quick feedback. Now it's loading the results into uh, Solid Edge and you can see that it automatically gives us uh, feedback right within our display. Now, uh, one thing that we can do is under the view if you want to uh, turn on and off the background components you can do that uh, but of course as we're in uh, FEMAP Express if we want to run a, a play to kind of get feedback as to uh, what's happening here with our design you can turn on and off the display colors um, you can change from stress to uh, displacement and then even more importantly is factor of safety now here you can see that uh, when this thing has a, has a, is under a little bit of load, it might actually fail in that area. And that's not really what we're looking to see. Uh, green is always good. Yellow is cautionary. And then red, of course, is not good. So it looks like we need to make some uh, type of change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, the actual uh, material step. And I'm going to go into the materials, and the material is okay, but we might want to up up the uh, uh, the gauge of the material. So I'm going to pick, say, like 14 gauge, which thickens the model a little bit. We can go ahead and apply that to the load. So it reapplies it. It thickens the model up a little bit. We'll go ahead and accept, and then it asks us if we want to reanalyze. And so we'll rerun the analysis. It's going to do it a little bit quicker this time. And then give us feedback right on our screen. And you can see now, factor of safety, all of that yellow is gone. And in fact, if we put it into motion, you can see that uh, actually we have no stress at all. Factor of safety looks good. Displacement. And of course, it gives you uh, the information on the right side of the screen. And of course, you also have the stress uh, feedback. Now some of the other cool things about uh, this analysis is that uh, we can also 
uh, we can save animations, but we can also generate an HTML report that we can send to our manager. Uh, in this case, we're just going to call it uh, SM bracket. And of course, uh, you know, a name. And then company. And uh, you can give a date, an introduction, and a conclusion. You can browse for uh, your company logo. And then you can simply generate a report. And what it's going to do is take a snapshot of each one of those uh, results. And it will give you uh, quick links to those results. So if I look at stress results, it takes me into the HTML page where that stress actually occurred and some of the numbers and feedback, uh, inf good information. Uh, as I scroll through, you'll see it gives us um, uh, feedback from each one of the results uh, that we that we had for stress, for displacement, and for factor of safety. So HTML ports are, are quickly generated and of course you can save them and send them on. So you can see that we have quite a bit of functionality built right into uh, Solid Edge with synchronous technology. In this case FEMAP Express where we can uh, analyze our part very quickly. Now this completes the electromechanical demonstration. Uh, it might be a good idea to go back and review some of these, some of the things that we've covered uh, in this particular demonstration, but we hope that you find this helpful. Uh, and this concludes uh, this particular anim uh, movie.